what's going on guys so in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can make your nintendo switch download and upload speeds faster um, so this is really useful for when you're trying to download updates or download games from the internet um, that sort of thing so let's go ahead and get right into it first thing you're going to do is turn on your nintendo switch obviously and scroll down to this bottom bar where you see these little circular icons you're going to go over to system settings click a on that and then you're going to scroll down to internet oh i already passed it click on internet and then click on internet settings um, so you can do this with either a hard hardwired connection or Wi-Fi it's harder to do it on a, a wired connection for the Nintendo switch because you need an adapter um, since it's so small it doesn't come with a uh, Ethernet jack um, so I'm just doing Wi-Fi which is probably what you're gonna do too um, so this first network right here is my my home network um, it's showing all these squares because I have a bunch of characters in my in my home network so I guess Nintendo switch doesn't recognize it uh, but the first thing you're going to do is if you're not connected, you're going to go ahead and find your network, connect to it, um, enter the password and everything, and then make sure it connects like this. It connects all the way to the internet. Um, and so if, after that, we're going to go back, basically back to the same spot. So internet settings, wait for it to search for networks, and then we're going to click on our network. And instead of this time connecting this to the network, we're going to click on change settings. Um, so by default, um, you see this, so you see all these settings, you see SSID, security, password, IP address settings, um, DNS settings. So DNS settings is what we're going to be messing with. Um, so by default, your DNS settings will be on automatic, which is what I'm going to put it on for now. Um, so we'll just leave it on automatic for now. Click save. It'll come up and then we're going to go back and back one more time. And we're going to go ahead and test our connection. Um, so this is basically what your connection is going to be like by default. And we're going to try to see if we can beat these speeds um, by changing our DNS settings to a couple different DNS servers. So this this might not so this might not work for everybody. Um, sometimes a certain DNS server will give you better results than others. Um, sometimes the automatically selected one is better. Sometimes it's not. It just kind of depends. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna see here, and I'm gonna give you some solutions to try out and see if you can get to your games to download and upload faster. So as you can see, my my um, originating speed is 26.5 down and 5.8 up. And we're gonna see if changing the DNS settings can um, can help this. So if you want to improve your download and upload speeds on the PS4 or Xbox One as well, I'll leave a link in the description. I have a couple of videos for those as well. Pretty much same thing, but uh, for the Xbox One and PS4. Um, so let's go back to where we were, change settings, and now we're gonna try a manual DNS setting. Um, so the first we're gonna do is actually what I already have typed in right now. This is the Open DNS home server. Um, it's supposed to be a pretty reliable server. Let me go ahead and cancel. Um, so go ahead and just take. I'll pause here for a second, and so you can go take a look at the primary DNS and secondary DNS servers. So go ahead and type those in. And once you're done, you should go over to save. So it's pretty quick. And then click to connect the network just to make sure you're still connected. And now we're gonna back out of here again. And now that we're back. We're gonna, you can see that you're connected via Wi-Fi to your network, and now we're going to test connection again and see what our speeds are. Um, so in the best case scenario, our speeds will be faster, hopefully like double the speed. Um, but you know, like I was saying, sometimes it, it might be worse, sometimes it might be better. You'll just have to try a bunch of DNS servers and see if you get something better. So there, there we go. Already, it's better. Um, before it was 26.5 down, so now it's 31.8 down. Um, my upload speed is the same, but um, upload is not a big deal usually. Um, so I have 30, I just, I just gained 5 megabits per second right there. Um, and so now we backed out, and we're going to go try one more DNS server. Um, so let us search for networks again, click on your network, and now go to change settings again. And this time, instead of the open home DNS server, we're going to use the Google DNS server, which is a public DNS server. So let's change all this, and whoops, I went too far. So the primary DNS is going to be 8.8. .8 dot eight dot eight press ok and then on secondary dns it's going to be pretty similar eight dot eight dot four dot four and now just like before click save and connect to network again just to make sure you're connected and that'll take us back to our the main screen um, you can see you're connected to your Wi-Fi, and then we're going to test connection again. And hopefully it's even faster than before. If it's not, we'll go back to the, uh, the Open Home DNS server, because that's the one that was fastest so far. So 
so it takes a minute for it to run its test so 27.2 and 6 so my upload speed got slightly better but my download speed is kind of right between where it was for the the default and the uh, open home DNS um, so I think my best results right now are coming from open home DNS and it, it really is going to depend for you um, which DNS server works best for you um, in a lot of cases the automatic will work fine um, sometimes you'll you'll need to change it to, to try to get some better download and upload speeds if you're downloading a, downloading a big game um, some days one DNS server might be better than the other you know I, it, it really depends um, I'm just giving you some tools so that you can um, try out some different DNS servers to get some better results and I'll leave a link in the description as well for some more DNS servers you can try um, just keep going through them see which one gives you the best results and hopefully you'll double your download speeds and one more comment I gotta make why is the Nintendo Switch download and upload speed so slow? I mean, my Nintendo Switch is right next to my router, and on my PS4 and Xbox One, I get well over 100 megabits per second, sometimes even 200 megabits per second down. But on Nintendo Switch, I'm getting 27. I mean, that's horrendous, but that's beside, that's beside the point in this video. Um, it's kind of just proving another point why you need to try to get squeeze every bit of download speed as you can out of this uh, Nintendo Switch since the Wi-Fi adapter apparently is terrible. Maybe I should get that uh, Ethernet adapter and plug in my Ethernet cable. Maybe it'll be a lot better. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried that before. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you learned something in this video. Hope you can increase your download and upload speeds and download your games faster. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.